Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to do statistical math calculations. Now, when it comes to these calculations, it really depends on what it is that you're trying to find because there's a lot of statistical calculations out there. So I'm just going to throw a few examples out at you and uh, a couple of definitions along the way, and most of them start with the letter M, coincidentally. So let's talk about first the mean. Now, to find the mean, all you're really doing is you're finding the average of the values that you may have. So what you, all you're doing is you're, you're adding up all the numbers that you have and then dividing by how many total data points that you actually uh, have at your disposal. So that's a pretty easy one to find. Another one you may want to find is that of the median. Now the median is known as the middle value. Now what that's going to require you to do though is to, you have to arrange all the values from lowest to the highest. And then if you have an odd number of points, you can figure out what the number is in the middle, and that'll be your median. If you have an even number of points, then you have to take the middle two values and then divide by two. So, But in order to find the median, you have to arrange your numbers from lowest to highest first. The mode is simply the one that occurs the most. So if you have a bunch of data points, see which number shows up the most number of times, and that'll be your mode. Sometimes you can have more than one. If you have two numbers that show up the same number of times, then it's what's called bimodal. Or if you have three values, trimodal, but it all depends on what kind of data points that you have. Another one you may be asked to find is that of the mid-range. Now the mid-range, all you're doing there is you're taking the lowest number, and you're going to add it with the highest number, and then you're going to divide by two. That's a pretty straightforward calculation there. And then you may think, okay, what about the range itself? Well, to find the range, all you're doing is you're taking the highest value and you're subtracting it by the lowest value. Now, there are a lot more statistical calculations out there, but it really depends on what it is that you're trying to find. But this is just a, a little sample, if you will. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you find some statistical math calculations.